Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today we're gonna talk about glitter glue from the Dollar Tree. I did a little comparison to review the three different types that I have seen. Now, there's glitter paint, which I have not purchased yet, but this is the glitter glue. But before, I would like to tell you about Teamy Tea. Um, now this was sent to me for free, so I just wanna make that very clear, but the opinions of it are my own. And I really like it. It's pretty tasty tea. If you can see in here, it's about a teaspoon of dried tea leaves. They open up, they infuse. There's a filter in the top of the cup and you can reuse these leaves several times. Now I went for the detox and I have been feeling more energized. My skin feels cleaner. I've really been enjoying this. So I just wanted to let you know. So if you're interested in the drop down box below, there is a 25% coupon code that you can use if you'd like to order some for yourself. And it's very tasty. It just tastes like um, herbal tea. I think this had a little bit of mint in it. I enjoy it a lot. All right, so that I wanted to share with you. Now, let me show you and then we'll get a little deeper. I bought these glitter glue bottles. So these are individual, they're a dollar a piece. So I purchased one, three colors of that. Then I purchased these bottles and they come three to a set. So you get these three colors for $1, fair amount of glue and glitter. And then these come in an eight pack. So you'll get two silver, two blue, two red, two gold, two green. Yeah, silver, red, blue, green, gold, which are great for Christmas, for sure. I don't know where I put my, oh, here it is. Number eight. So you get all of these for $1, right? Or you could get one of these each for a dollar, but you get almost four ounces each. So it depends on what you're doing, really. And then these are for one dollar. These three little, probably one ounce bottles, I would say. But only these colors. The benefit here is that the multi-packs come with just the certain colors. These come in all different colors, including like brights and neons. I went with gold, green, and this clear because I really like to put this on my dark backgrounds. So if you give me a second, I'm gonna flip the camera around, I'll show you what I've done, and then I'll show you what it looks like to use them. Okay. So here are the samples that I did, and at first glance, they all look pretty much the same, which was kind of a surprise to me, and it was, you know, why we three different packaging when they're all gonna be the same. So these are the three ounce bottles, or the almost four ounce bottles of the gold. You're not gonna see that real well, but I'll show you. And the green. But if you look over here, these are the, the ones that come with the 10 little tubes. The green is not as opaque. So I think what it, the difference is gonna be is the glitter is the same. It's the concentration of glitter in the clear glue that's gonna tell you how it's gonna perform. Um, the blue turned out pretty well. The red wasn't terribly bad. The silver and gold were really good. The green is pretty weak. So I prefer this green to that green. And then these are the three pack bottles and the same. This, you know, red is a little better. What I would say is whatever you choose to use, you're just going to have to use maybe more when you see it come out, you know, more of the one, but they're pretty much all consistent with each other. Now, Let's do this clear, or I don't know what, it's not a color, it's just, you know, like holographic. The glitter is suspended in glue, a clear glue product. You've got your lid that pops off with your hole, with the hole at the top so you can dispense it. This does get in the way, so I typically hold it back and then you just squeeze it if you're wanting to do it like a line or to do snowflakes, which is a lot of times what I would use it for. You just give yourself a dot. You wanna give it the bigger than you think you're gonna need. And if you can see on there, those little dots, I know it's hard to see. When the clear, clear glue dries, what you're left with is the holographic glitter. Now, and they're all the same, like I said. There's no 
other than the saturation of um, the glue to glitter ratio. I would cut these off if I'm going to do a craft because it flings and then it gets into it. But let's just see. So that's pretty thick on there. But I can see the clear glue encasing it. And that's what's going to happen. The clear glue will evaporate and dry. And then you'll end up with that line. The other thing you can do with these is paint it on. So if you just wanted like a little glitter layer. The benefit to this over using like a glitter you sprinkle on is the fallout is very little. There, once this is dry, like I just ran my hand over it, I may get a fleck or two. But it's dry and it's on there. And this is not strictly used on um, paper product. You can paint this on anything. On wood signs, on glass, on plastic, on anything. You can paint it on. You can squiggly it on. What the clear does, which is fun, if you have like a black, a black sign with the background, you could do these little dots and get snowflakes or a little highlight in your snow. You could brush it on, like I said, and just get a little bit of glitter. So I feel like for the price point, this is a great value. Any of these options that you went with, because again, you know, I probably wouldn't buy these again but with the kids on those wooden ornaments these would be fantastic they could paint them and then draw with the different colors of glitter glue now another thing you could do there they sell these bottles empty in three packs they also sell extra fine glitter that's what you would want to use is the extra fine glitter and clear glue and you can mix your own and get any color you want and any consistency and any thickness um, you can also do that with Mod Podge. You can mix this extra fine glitter in Mod Podge and paint it on. But I feel like this clear glue works a little better than the Mod Podge because you don't lose as much sparkle. When this dries, you know, it's going to be sparkly. And that thickness there would get you a line like these thicknesses here. And that was a pretty fair... You could also use the silver, by the way, for snow. So, I hope that was helpful to you. I've been seeing all this glitter glue, and I'm like, why is there so many different packages? Why is there so many differences? Well, it's just the packaging. Value-wise, if you're going to do a lot of kid crafts, or adults, I mean, I'm going to utilize these on my ornaments this Christmas. But I think, especially kids, grandkids, would have a lot of fun with this glitter glue on making their own Christmas cards or, you know, ornaments, whatever. Just buy a bunch of it and let them go to town. Let their creation shine. Let them create something. So, from what I will say, these glitter glues are definitely worth the dollar that I paid for them at the Dollar Tree. So, I hope that was helpful. And you guys have a good one. I will talk to you later. Bye.